The mother of a convicted killer is going to federal prison for her role in his crime spree. Prosecutors believe Lori Jenkins bought the ammo her son Nico Jenkins used in at least three of four Omaha murders last August. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig Negrelli. She made a confession in court today, but not to that. A jury convicted Jenkins of being a felon in possession of ammunition back in April. Today, a judge sentenced her. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski was the only TV reporter there. He's live live outside federal court with the very latest tonight. Jake. Craig and Jan, it was an extended hearing that took most of the day. Lori Jenkins sentenced to 10 years in a federal prison. Prosecutors showed that she bought Nico, her son, that ammo. Plus, she even knew about the fact that he was out killing people. Well, Lori tells a different story. This is Lori Jenkins in Douglas County Court. Today, Judge Lori Smith Camp sentenced her to 10 years in prison on each count of felon in possession of ammo. They will run at the same time, so with time served, she'll be in federal prison for about seven and a half years. The federal judge heard testimony from investigators on how Lori made statements to family that she knew her son was killing people and that she bought the ammo that ended up in his hands. Shotgun slugs from Canfields and later 9mm bullets from Saul's just hours before they were used to kill Andrea Kruger. Disappointed, yes, mm -hmm. but I, I need to emphasize really that she also expressed to me over and over and over again. Uh, the remorse she had for the victims and their respective families. Judge Smith Camp said no matter how the ammo got into Nico's hands, his mother was responsible. Federal sentencing guidelines allowed the court to consider how those bullets were ultimately used in the killing spree and not just the fact that she was a felon who bought them. I think it weighed heavily on the sentence. I mean, it weighs heavily on all of us that are involved in this case. This was a, I, need, I don't need to tell you, this was a, a terrible, heinous crime, a uh, series of crimes and that afflicted our community. In her words, Jenkins was able to tell her story for the first time ever. Quote, I never got rid of evidence for anyone. I didn't buy ammunitions for Nico Jenkins. I've never let anyone use my guns. I have them for my own protection. She said the ammo was for her protection and Nico's girlfriends actually gave him the bullets and shells. Lori went on to say, quote, I'm sorry for all the victims. I'm sorry for everything, but I confess, I confess my sin. I am not responsible for his actions. The only thing that links me to this is that he is my son. The actions that were taken by your son, Nico Jenkins, she condones none of it. A Jenkins defense will file an appeal with the circuit court in St. Louis in about a week, not only to appeal the sentencing, but also appeal how she was convicted. She's actually going to be at a federal prison close to Omaha. That's where she's going to be moved because she still got pending charges in state court. Reporting live outside the U.S. Federal Courthouse in downtown Omaha, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News.